In the vast and untamed American West of the late 19th century, a legend was born, Charles Angelo Seringo, the cowboy detective. Born in Matagorda County, Texas in 1855, Seringo grew up amidst the rugged landscapes, learning the ways of cattle herding and the cowboy life from a young age. As he reached adulthood, Seringo decided to embrace the life of a cowboy fully. He joined the ranks of legendary cattle drives, working alongside experienced trailblazers and facing the challenges of the open range. His tall and lean figure, along with his piercing blue eyes, made him an unforgettable figure among his peers. One fateful evening, while camped under a starry sky, Seringo overheard a conversation among his fellow cowboys. Whispers spoke of a daring train heist, orchestrated by a notorious gang of outlaws led by the enigmatic Jasper Blackjack Griffin. The stolen loot was said to be hidden somewhere deep in the desolate Badlands. Intrigued by the prospect of adventure and a desire to uphold justice, Seringo decided to don the hat of a detective. He bid farewell to his cowboy companions and set out on a solitary quest to track down the infamous gang and retrieve the stolen riches. Armed with his keen observational skills and knowledge of the land, Seringo followed the trail of the outlaws through dusty towns and barren wastelands. Along the way, he encountered various characters, some helpful, others hostile, each holding a piece of the puzzle. Among them was Belle Morgan, a captivating but mysterious woman who seemed entangled in the gang's web. As Seringo dug deeper into the case, he realized that the heist was just the tip of the iceberg. The gang was involved in a series of nefarious activities, and their reach extended far beyond the Badlands. Dark secrets from his own past resurfaced, intertwining with the present, threatening to shatter the walls he had carefully built around his heart. Despite the hardships, Seringo's skills as a cowboy and a detective proved formidable. He navigated the labyrinthine plots, facing gunfights, betrayals, and unexpected alliances. His encounters with the outlaws were tense and dangerous, but he persevered, inching closer to his quarry. As he delved deeper into the heart of the Badlands, Seringo began to question the boundaries between right and wrong, justice and revenge. The lines blurred as he learned more about the outlaws' motivations and the harsh realities of life in the Wild West. But he remained steadfast in his mission to bring the criminals to justice and recover the stolen riches. With each step closer to the truth, the dangers escalated. The outlaws were not about to let their ill-gotten gains slip away easily. Seringo found himself entangled in a deadly game of cat and mouse, with his life and the lives of those he cared about hanging in the balance. As the cowboy detective's pursuit intensified, so did the allure of the enigmatic Belle Morgan. Drawn to her charm and torn by conflicting emotions, Seringo struggled to maintain focus on his mission. He knew he had to stay true to his duty, yet the heart wanted what it wanted. With the setting sun painting the horizon in shades of gold, Seringo finally stood on the brink of a breakthrough. The trail led him to the infamous Devil's Gorge, a treacherous natural fortress deep within the Badlands, where the final confrontation with Jasper Blackjack Griffin and his gang awaited. Little did Seringo know that the path ahead would test not only his detective skills, but also his resolve, and the very core of his being. The cowboy detective was about to face the ultimate test of courage and determination, as the showdown at Devil's Gorge beckoned in the next chapter of this enthralling tale. Chapter 2 Pursuit in the Badlands the unforgiving Badlands stretched before Charles Seringo like an endless maze of canyons and deserts. With determination fueling his every step, he pressed on, following the faint traces of the outlaw's trail. The scorching sun beat down upon him, and the dry wind whispered tales of ancient spirits haunting the rugged terrain. Guided by rumors and whispers, Seringo made his way through shady saloons and lawless towns, seeking information on the whereabouts of the notorious gang led by Jasper Blackjack Griffin. Along the way, he encountered both allies and adversaries, each with their secrets and hidden agendas. One night, while resting at a desolate outpost, Seringo crossed paths with Belle Morgan once more. Her presence stirred conflicting emotions within him, but he couldn't deny the allure she held over him. Belle seemed to be walking a fine line between the outlaws and the law, and Seringo couldn't help but wonder where her loyalties truly lay. As he continued his pursuit, Seringo discovered that the gang's criminal activities were more extensive than he had imagined. From train robberies to cattle rustling and even rumored connections to political corruption, the outlaw's reach extended far beyond the Badlands. 
Amidst the trials of the chase, Syringo's own past resurfaced like ghosts from the shadows. Memories of a lost love and a promise unfulfilled haunted him, threatening to distract him from his mission. But the cowboy detective knew he couldn't afford to be swayed by sentimentality. He had a duty to the law and the innocent victims of the gang's crimes. Each new lead brought him closer to the truth, but it also led to danger and peril. Gunfights became a frequent occurrence, and the outlaw's henchmen dogged his every step. Yet Syringo's resolve remained unshaken, fueled by a sense of justice that burned like a wildfire in his heart. In a twist of fate, Syringo encountered an old friend from his cowboy days, William Wild Bill Thornton, now a United States Marshal. Horton had been pursuing the gang independently, and their chance meeting offered a glimmer of hope in the vast desert of uncertainties. Together they formed an unlikely alliance, pooling their resources and skills to increase their chances of success. As the unlikely duo navigated the Badlands, they forged a bond born of shared experiences and a mutual desire to bring justice to the lawless land. Thornton's sharpshooting prowess complemented Syringo's keen observational skills, and they proved to be a formidable team. The closer they came to uncovering the gang's hideout, the more dangerous the mission became. The outlaws' desperation knew no bounds, and they would stop at nothing to protect their ill-gotten gains. The cowboy detective and the United States Marshal faced ambushes, close calls, and narrow escapes, but their determination only grew stronger with every challenge. With the final piece of the puzzle falling into place, Syringo and Thornton set their sights on the infamous Devil's Gorge, the stronghold where Jasper, Black Jack Griffin, and his gang were rumored to be holed up. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the Badlands in an eerie twilight, the cowboy detective and the United States Marshal prepared for the ultimate showdown at Devil's Gorge. The fate of justice in the Wild West hinged on the outcome of this perilous encounter. The stage was set for a high-stakes confrontation, where bullets would fly, allegiances would be tested, and the true measure of a cowboy detective's medal would be revealed in the next thrilling chapter of this gripping saga. Chapter 3. Showdown at Devil's Gorge. The air crackled with tension as Charles Syringo and William Wild Bill Thornton approached Devil's Gorge under the cover of darkness. The rugged terrain offered ample hiding spots for the outlaws, and the cowboy detective knew they had to be cautious. Every step echoed like a drumbeat, reverberating through the vast canyon walls. With a silent nod, Syringo and Thornton split up, each taking a different route to surround the gang's stronghold. The moon hung low in the sky, its pale light casting elongated shadows across the rocky landscape. The scent of gunpowder lingered in the air, a reminder of the impending danger that loomed. As the first light of dawn began to paint the horizon, the outlaws emerged from their lair. Led by the cunning Jasper Blackjack Griffin, they moved with the stealth of predators, unaware that they were being encircled by the cowboy detective in the United States. Marshall. The tension reached its peak as Syringo and Thornton closed in on their targets. Just as the sun's rays began to break over the jagged cliffs, signaling the start of a new day, the showdown at Devil's Gorge commenced. Gunfire erupted, and the canyon echoed with the thunderous sounds of bullets. Syringo's cowboy instincts kicked in as he dove for cover behind a massive boulder. He could hear the crack of Thornton's rifle, marking his ally's position. The outlaws returned fire, determined to protect their loot and their leader. In the midst of the chaos, Belle Morgan emerged from the shadows, torn between her loyalty to the gang and the conflicting emotions she felt for the cowboy detective. Syringo hesitated for a moment, his heart warring with his duty. But he knew he couldn't let his feelings sway him. Justice had to prevail. As the battle raged on, Syringo and Thornton displayed the skills they had honed through years of hardship and danger. Their shots found their marks with deadly accuracy thinning the ranks of the outlaws. The gang fought fiercely, but their resolve wavered as they faced the relentless pursuit of justice. With each passing minute, the odds shifted in favor of the lawmen. The outlaws' ranks thinned, and panic began to seep into their eyes. Jasper Blackjack Griffin, however, refused to yield, his determination matched only by the cowboy detective's relentless pursuit of justice. In a daring move, Griffin attempted to escape into the heart of Devil's Gorge, hoping to lose his pursuers in the labyrinthine canyons. But he underestimated the tenacity of Charles Syringo. Determined not to let the mastermind of the gang slip through his fingers, Syringo chased after Griffin through narrow gorges and treacherous cliffs. At last, in a heart-stopping confrontation on the edge of a precipice, 
Seringo cornered the notorious outlaw. The two men locked eyes, each aware that this would be the defining moment of their lives. Gunfire echoed in the canyon, and for a fleeting moment, time seemed to stand still. When the smoke cleared, Jasper Blackjack Griffin lay defeated on the rocky ground. The cowboy detective had prevailed, and justice was served. With the gang leader apprehended and the stolen loot recovered, a sense of triumph and relief washed over Seringo and Thornton. As the dust settled and the sun rose high in the sky, the people of the Wild West learned of the cowboy detective's daring feat. The legend of Charles Seringo grew even more, spreading like wildfire across the untamed frontier. With the outlaws brought to justice, Bell Morgan finally saw the truth in Seringo's unwavering dedication to justice. Torn between her past and a newfound admiration for the cowboy detective, she chose a different path, one that would lead her away from the shadows of the outlaw life. The chapter in the Wild West's history concluded, but Charles Seringo's adventures as a cowboy detective were far from over. He continued to roam the untamed frontier, seeking justice for the oppressed and confronting new challenges that tested his mettle. In every town and every dusty trail, the legend of Charles Seringo, the cowboy detective, lived on. His legacy of courage, honor, and unwavering pursuit of justice inspired generations to come, leaving an indelible mark on the vast canvas of the American West. And so, the story of the cowboy detective came to a close, but the spirit of his adventures would forever endure in the heart of the Wild West.